Dynamics making a shave video, and I haven't got a few razors. Um, but what I have got is a new shave brush, Plisson High Mountain White. I'm sure, that's what that says there in French. 28 mil, so it's huge. Um, yeah. It's not broken in yet. I uh, tried it the other day and uh, yeah, I like it. So um, I've got a couple of razors actually. I've got this, the old Richmond, which I've been using for testing, which I used on my new, I've got a new sweeter. So test that and uh, see what that's done, if that's shavable. And then I've got this one, the Paragon, which I've taken it apart and I've got rid of the scratches. So it was scratched on both sides up by the nose and uh, they were really deep as well. So I took the scratches out and did some sanding and polishing on the inside of the scales, repinned it. I did try a different wedge, but uh, it didn't stick. It didn't look right. It was a bit wider, uh, less of a wedge. It was a wedge, but uh, I went back to the original wedge. And we'll see what happens. Using the Taylors, Mr. Taylors. I just took about half the tub on that. I mean, a lava hog or whatever you want to call it, but still to this day, I've never used a full tub of shaving cream or shaving soap. So maybe now I can actually get through some. So now I can just go overboard with the shaving cream. Hear that noise? So I was thinking if I was a millionaire, I'd use this to dust the skirtings. Right. I think that's probably enough. It's literally caked on. That's enough cake. Right, let's try. I'm desperate to see. Do I stand a chance with this new sweeter? Is a Maruka sweeter. But this was done uh, 1k bevel set and just with the Tomo. Uh, Tomo slurry. Oh wow. Yeah that is that is really nice. That's the best I felt this razor. So I tried all sorts of um, different Things. I mean, it's the, the stones are completely new, like makeup, stone makeup. Um, and I tried full progressions, and it's too violent for full progression. So, this one I honed on the Izuku Kita, and I just did less work basically. We'll do something else with this. I mean, I might unpin it again. I'm going to do something with it. I'm just, I'm not sure what. Let's go back to this uh, Richmond. Yeah. 
Well, I hope, you know, sometimes you get things right straight up and then it's downhill from there. I hope that's not the case. Because this, I used the Nagora that's, uh, it's the hardest Nagora that I've got. And the reason I used it is because I saw how the stone tears up, chews up Nagoras. So I thought, let me see with the uh, my strongest Nagora, which is actually a Nakayama Nagora. And, uh, and yeah, it made a slurry like quick smart. And then I just started working with that slurry. Um, I tried, I've tried all sorts of things, diamond plate slurries, but obviously I haven't shaved off them. But just what I saw under the scope, it looked a, bit, a little bit too violent for a diamond plate slurry. Um, right, the back of the heel's not done. But I couldn't be, I'm really pleased with this. Yeah, it feels, it feels really nice, that does. And, um, I mean, it's a pleasure to hone on as well. It's the nicest feeling stain I've had if you rub your fingers on it. It's like really smooth. And um, when you hone on it, there's a resistance. I mean, all the good quality stains have got a resistance, like a bit of a velvety feel, but they're all unique. And this one is unique as well. I've spent the last few days making a video on that stone. Uh, and I'm basically um, just shoring it up and uh, making it level. And I'm going to erase it. And I mean, I don't want to spoil the video, but I'm excited for the video because I'm excited for the stone. But this, this stone, yeah, I'm really impressed. Considering that this is the first edge off it, and I'm kind of just like kind of guessing what I'm doing, really. And it's just took this this razor to the next level. So and it's a it's a vintage. I mean, I'm not personally. I'm not. I I won't buy a stone with newer stamps. I mean, I'm. I shouldn't really say that. Because what I say shouldn't affect you like that. I know in, the, in a stone's life, 50 years is nothing. But no, I shouldn't say that at all. That's, that's actually wrong. It's wrong for me to say that. I mean, I have got a stone that had newer stamps. It actually had old stamp. It had an old Maruka stamp and then newer stamps on top. So, I can't really say anything bad about that. The only bad thing I can say about newer stamps is uh, I've, had, I've got an Agora with a new stamp 
and as far as I'm concerned, they're suitable for knives. So I was humming an hour in about making this video. I haven't really got a razor. But I thought, you know what, I can use my brush, my new brush. And uh, test that. The main thing I wanted to do was just test this, uh, this new sweeter. And I'm blown away, really. I'll get one more video out there, but the shave videos don't really add up to much compared to a restoration video, a stone video, a honing video. You know, they they got longer life, I think. I started to make another video today just because I had the cameras in the workshop. So I started to make a video where I'm uh, just showing how I make scales. Because I've always wanted to make a video uh, showing how I make scales just because I make scales differently to the standard way. I kind of make one scale at a time, but um, yeah, it's just the beginning of that video. So I really, I've got three videos on the go, and uh, we'll see. Hopefully, they'll all turn out good. Wow! Yeah, that's a close shave. That is nicely executed. And I've got this, um, the German Street. Got the old German Street and I've got the clones as well of uh, all these things, but I don't want to overdo it. That's me rejuvenated. So thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. And I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.